Waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch review and today on the table we are going right down the line in our fans toys iron die bots with FT05 soar iron die bot number two um and uh yeah this will be our last iron die bot for a while because uh, this is the uh last one that I have I am still trying to find a scoria and a sever but hopefully we can get those soon enough there is no rush of course and these are already old toys now speaking of old toys this is the 2020 uh the 2020 reissue of sorry i believe it was 2020 um so while the mold is old the figure itself is relatively new though unfortunately it doesn't entirely feel that way but we'll get to that um so let's begin with the review and uh since i unboxed this thing quite a while ago it's been on display in my shelf let's start right out with the box and the instructions since we did not do a formal unboxing so i'm gonna move mr soar off the table for a little while as we take a look at the box and um uh, as always, um, fans toys with their box. I'm going to shut my light off here so we can see it a bit better. Fans toys with their box art, just absolutely beautiful. I love these uh, th these box arts. I believe the artist, uh, or at least one of the artists. I'm not sure how many artists fans toys has. So please feel free to chime in um, in the comments. Um, I'm not sure how many artists they have, but this is the these these are just absolutely beautiful. I, I love the artworks for these. They're they're great. Got Soar, uh, aka Swoop. That is who this is based on. Uh, for Transformers G1. Got the fan toys on the bottom. FT05 uh, Iron Diebot number two. Soar is his name, even though we know it is a take on soup. Iron Diebot's on the side. All the cool jargon. Switching to the other side. Iron Diebot, same thing back here. And then, of course, on the top, a nice animated shot of Swore in his uh, pterodactyl mode. That is very cool. There's a Patronodon mode, I forget. Anyway, and then, of course, on the back, we have some nice product shots of Soar, all that you can do with him. Check these out and feel free to read the bio. You can pause it right now and take a read, and there it is. So that's all we have for the box. And moving on, let's take a quick look at the instructions. As usual, FT05 Soar. You got a nice, looks like a 3D rendering on the front there. And of course, the usual accessories. The, uh, the These are black and white uh, instructions. So uh, Fans Toys has uh, escalated over the years uh, with... Uh, adding color or did they add color i always forget <laughs> it goes to show how much i read these um so yeah got more of the instructions um if you go to the back it shows you how to use some of his accessories um and uh, how to power up the sword my sword isn't powered up so feel free to check out the instructions if you want to power yours up um and shows you how to change the heads out we'll go through that in a bit and then on the back a nice 3d rendering image of soar and lastly, taking a look at the card, there it is, uh, FT05 Soar on the front, got that 3D rendering image from the instructions, and if we go to the back, uh, looks like the same bio from uh, the back of the box, and uh, of course some nice product shots on the back, and I'm assuming those are his stats on the bottom right. So there we go. So let's talk about Soar, and straight away, I'm going to talk about a problem with mine, unfortunately, and I'm bringing it up because apparently it is a very common problem. So uh, my Soar, when I first got it, um, it wouldn't uh, transform. Um, the way it's supposed to transform, the legs are kind of supposed to go all the way back and then kind of push up back behind the head, and then they tab in to the back right here, and they, and they have to go all the way back. Uh, my legs uh, would not retract uh, far enough back and uh, as I learned uh, it is a problem there is a spring I guess uh, inside uh, these uh, thigh joints right here there's a spring um, that allows him to do this and for the most part it's too tight um, now I looked online I looked on Facebook and there is a uh, unfortunately I can't give a shout out to the person uh, he made a whole uh, article about this and it's been over a year since I've done the fix um, he made an article that showed Shows you uh, how to dismantle the leg and where the spring is. And unfortunately, I can't find the spring. I saw, somehow I lost that, but that's okay. I don't plan on selling the cigar anytime soon. Um, but that being said, um, and uh, I guess there were two different fixes that you could either cut the spring or remove the spring entirely. I opted to remove it entirely since I'm not precise enough to know how well to cut the spring. Um, and uh, yeah, it transforms just fine. Um, it doesn't feel like it's affected 
correct. I mean, this guy sits on his flight sand, which we'll talk about during accessories um, for all in a minute. But again, um, it doesn't seem to affect him standing for when I do have him standing. But uh, yeah, so just FYI, if you get your uh, sore, your sore reissue, apparently this has been an issue for a while. They never fixed it with the reissue. Um, there you go. That is the fix. So just uh, take that spring out or cut the spring. There's instructions. Just look on the Fans Toys official Facebook page or uh, fan pages. And somebody can link you to some instructions most likely. Um, if I ever find the percent, I will try and put it in uh, the comments or somewhere um, versus Louis versus in lieu of showing you how to do it because I'm not taking it apart on camera. So uh, that being said, let's get down. I'm going to raise the camera real quick and let's get down to uh, the review. So we got a nice, again, typical fans toys face sculpt. Got the nice red paint uh, on the head there. This one, um, unlike uh, the other uh, die bots, uh, sword looks fully painted. Um, Fully painted with nice, uh, with nice, uh, metallic chrome. Um, very beautiful looking. Got the uh, red on the head there. Yeah, you can see, and you can see kind of a different shade of red down the center. Uh, looks very nice. And, uh, the chest area, a nice blue with a deep red crest down, uh, on the chest. You can see the, uh, the paint, the gray paint on, uh, these shoulders here. Not sure if the paint traces down to the forearms. Um, those look kind of dull. Um, uh, but again, uh, more surfaces than not. And then, of course, moving down to the uh, thighs. Again, very nice, nicely colored, very G1 accurate, too. I mean, they, they took a, a lot of the liberties. You can see, like, they did the metallic gold for the claws and the bird beak and the wings uh, and, and a lot of nice liberties. But uh, they also kind of kept the mold generally very true to the G1. Um Got some red wiring detail going down the side of the thighs again. Um, Swoop being the most athletic looking of the Dinobots. Um, he doesn't have like big old anything. He's a very lith. I mean, he's a flyer, of course. So he's a very lith creature. And then he got this nice coat of blue on the feet there. This is what I love about fancy is the feet. Who cares about the feet? He stands on them and, and they just put this nice shade of blue there. Very good looking. Uh, very nice. Yeah, lots of, lots of foot action there. Um, got some molded plastic and you can see molded plastic on the inside of the thigh on the front of the thigh, on the upper thigh, and then, of course, typical fans' toys, um, you know, going with the wiring detail on the back of the wings, the old molded detail on the metallic plastic on the wings, and, of course, uh, nice clean back. Uh, no, no backpack, no kibble or anything. They molded in some uh, electronic detail. Same thing with the uh, back two shin pads. Again, the back shin pads. Typical screws in the back of the bot, as usual. And uh, the back shin pads got the nice molded detail. You'll never see the back, and they just incorporated it. That's absolutely too cool. Showing off a bit of the waist swivel there. Um, so, yeah, again, um, it, it, you know, credit where it's due. Uh, the qualms I have, I'm going to be going over the qualms I have with the cigar, but uh, the presentation is not one of them. Of course, fans' toys, uh, they, they know how to present a fan. Bigger. So let's get some articulation going. Now the head, oh, let me move it up so we can see. So the head swivels all the way around. You can actually bring it up though. This is kind of a transformation joint to get it into this dino head. You can bring, but you can bring it all the way down. I can give, get a nice like that. Hello, or like that. Hello, other head. How are you doing? Or he can look back up about that far. His face does spin around, but we'll talk about that. That's more of a gimmick. Moving on to the arms. The arms, his shoulder joint comes all the way up. Now, unfortunately, mine is kind of loose. Um, So it does like when you bring it, it comes up about here and then it's slowly starts coming down this arm is a little bit tighter um he'll hold it and uh yeah he can hold a little bit better with this arm uh he does he can rotate all the way around no ratchets um in the arm surprisingly kind of surprising given um all, all that we've seen with uh the die bots so far so uh very interesting with this guy i'm gonna move the wing another point of articulation by the way we'll get to that soon we'll do a full uh inspection um bicep swivel very nice on a friction. Uh, he does have a much wider array of elbows. He's got a double jointed elbow. And you see, I just acted a transformation uh, right there. So he does get you a nice full. The hand is, first off, let me hold his arm, wrist. 
does rotate very firmly. Um, it's due to transformation, but he can kind of go down just a little bit if you want it to. And all the hands, all the fingers, excuse me, hands, fingers, same difference. Uh, thumb on a ball joint. Uh, got a little insert for the gun and hand, fingers on a base pin knuckle with another um, pin midway. All individually articulated fingers. All right. And then he does come. Now the beak is kind of, well, it's kind of tabbed in. It doesn't really tab in too well. He can do a very nice waist swivel. No ab crunch. That is A-OK. -okay. And then for the legs. Legs go only back about that far. It is on a ratchet uh, going back and forth, and uh, it does hit on here. Um, so, again, no, no real movement back. Um, but he can do a full-on fusion kick, and he can also... Eh, he can kind of do the splits. Not really too much. And I'm already activating his foot articulation. And then for the knee, if we hold him up, he can... He's got a double jointed knee and it is a ratchet, uh, ratchet at the uh, shin, ankle, whatever you call it. Just like that. That's also for transformation too, by the way. And of course, thigh rotation. Very nice on a friction. And then for the toe, the toe, um, he can point it down just a wee bit. He can point it all the way up, which is more for transformation. And then of course, he has a little bit of an ankle tilt. Not too much. Sorry about that. And, oh yeah, by the way, his skirts, if you didn't know, all they open up front to back. And then, of course, the wings. He does have a hinge here that goes back and forth. He has a hinge here that goes back and forth. And, yeah, you just saw me activate. He has a hinge right here. So, yeah, a little bit of movement. And, of course, you can, we'll show it more in Dino mode. You can splay the whole wings out if you want to. But, of course, ideally, uh, like for Dino, for Bat mode, he is supposed to look like this. So, there we have that. And I believe that is all for articulation. And we'll talk about his accessories for which he has many, many accessories. Uh, this is when Fan's Toys just went all out. So first off, he comes with his rifles. He actually has two rifles, his missile rifles. And we'll only show one. They're both the same, but uh, they're cast in the, this nice uh, silverish gray plastic. Got some booster detail on the back. Because it's mostly rockets in dino mode. Uh, I know. Patronodon with rockets, or a pterodactyl with rockets, I forget. Um, and then, of course, these nice drill fronts done in a uh, nice chrome. Looks very business-like. And uh, he can hold those just fine. So what you do is you bring uh, this piece down. And he does like that. So he's got that little uh, slot, that little uh, peg, or insert, excuse me. Let's open up his fingers. Now, he does suffer from the typical, it's like the... Uh, Dibot curse, um, where uh, he he don't hold it too well, but uh, at least not in the slot. But you put it in, and he'll hold it just fine. Um, and you can actually let's get him into. I'm gonna get get him in both. And there he is. So now uh, Soar can do a Are You Feeling Lucky, Punk? Um, unlike his uh, Dino Bros who only have one gun, he has two. <laughs> and let's see if you don't want him holding a... Uh, we'll bring these blasters back real quick. I'll show you one other thing. We can give him his sword. Now his sword is cast in this nice metallic piece. It does light up just like the rest of the Dino Swords. So the Dino... The Dibot Swords. Excuse me. Ah, don't fall over on me. Don't fall over um and again just activate it by a button you push it and you gotta kind of angle it in and it'll stay in there and it'll light up of course mine doesn't have batteries in it because i never light it up um and just push it in and it'll retract and come up batteries you just take it apart you got these screws here 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 and here and you take it apart um cat the transparent plastic on the blade looks very nice got that nice ribbed look like the rest of the Dibot swords it is pretty cool and again same story he's got the slots in i'm gonna throw stuff all over the place in the sword handle and he will hold that just fine so he can say are you really feeling lucky punk And real quick, one more thing we can do with the guns, you can fold the handle back up. You notice it's got a peg here. 
And you'll notice in the wing, he has, oh, knocked the camera. He's got a peg here. Oh, got to close this up. And what you can do is you can take this and insert it into the wings. So he can, ah, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. So he can store his own weapons. And this is where they go in Dino, when he's in Dino. And they, yes, his Dino can actually store his guns. So you can get that look going. And that's kind of how I prefer to have him. And lastly, but not leastly, he comes with the greatest accessory of all. He comes with his flight stand and it is a two-piece design you got these rectangular slots you have these rectangle peg in pieces here and you just insert that down like so you will notice he has a little peg and a little slot right here and you will if we look down in his crotch area i know he's got a little hole in his crotch area what do you know um you just Let's raise the camera up. Come on, come on, go. Oh, oh. Rocking the camera, rock the Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. And you can just set him on there. Ah! And he can fly about, and that is, and again, that's awesome. Um, uh, the. Because, again, uh, it's just so cool. I love when fans, especially for their flyers, I love when they give flight stands. I love when any company gives a flight stand. I mean, d d I'm going to say this right now. Don't sell me a flying robot or a robot with a flying mode, and then don't give me it, and don't not give me a flight stand. Come on now. That's, that's, almost, that, that, that's almost criminal right there. And lastly but not leastly about the flight stand, you can store some stuff. You'll notice he's got two holes right down here. And you got the uh, little uh, peg in the sword, and you can just put that right in there so he can uh, store his sword right on there. And I believe you can do the same with Z guns. You can take this off, and you can bring this here. Follow me, camera. Nope, uh, the guns do not fit. So uh, just ju that's only for your sword. So they kind of expect uh, you to put the guns on his wings if you are going to do that but of course that will get him ah i suppose i should get into flight stand articulation real quick um he does have there is a hinge here so that'll move him and get him into whatever pose you want him in oh wow that holds him up quite well it does pretty cool i like that watch him fall over just i'm gonna put him back upright so he doesn't fall over so that is how we do that. And a couple final accessories. These I bring these up last because these do involve taking the figure apart. So uh, you get another set of wings. That's right. Um, if you don't like the chrome, um, uh, which is fine. I mean, I do love the chrome, but uh, these look pretty cool too. You get some painted silver wings, and these actually look pretty glorious. And look, you got the nice deal. This looks like a Borg implant right here. So you got the nice molded detail. In fact, it's easier to see the molded detail um, on these wings. So that could be a benefit to having these on. Again, you got the nice colored uh, conduits right through here, and uh, more molded detail. Um, same uh, insert points for the guns. Um, so you don't worry about uh, losing gun storage. They're basically the exact same wings, just different paint. Um, and how you put those on, I'm not going to put them on on camera. If you want, I can make a separate video to do it, but I'm not uh, going to do it in this video because it'll take too long. Uh, you have screw here, screw here, screw here, um, and don't get screwed. And uh, you just undo those, pull this out, put this in, and just like that. And uh, then you screw everything back in, and he is good to go with those wings. And lastly but not least, and this one I am going to show. I'm going to do it off camera, but I am going to show you uh, with it. Um, if you remember our uh, grinder review, um, I told you a Grinder came with some alternate parts for his Dino, for his Dibot brothers. I oh, will call them Dinobots, whatever. Um, and uh, he does come with an alternate uh, face sculpt. And real quick, just going back to the face sculpt for uh, Sora, you can see he's got the head thing here. And oh, this brings about a gimmick. Um, if you want to change, he does come with two different face sculpts. So if you want to change those out, uh, pull this out. And you just spin it around.
and insert back in. And you know, she's kind of got a dopey, this is his happy face, his dopey uh, sore smile. Um, uh, so there you go right there. Uh, eyes, of course, in that nice blue uh, paint. Um, and what you can do is uh, you can give him, if you look at this face, it's, it's a lot more smoothed out, got some smoother features, got a bit more natural uh, facial expressions. And there's a bit more natural uh, swoop smile um, for his face. Um, so you can put this face on. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how to do that off camera. So real quick, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, you just pull the head up and uh, you'll notice uh, in there is this screw. You're going to unscrew this, you're going to pull this head out and you'll notice the head has a, the new head has a screw at the bottom uh, with a little counter bore and you're just going to re-screw it in and uh, that will get you his new face in and we will be right back. And so there he is with his alternate face sculpt. You can see that a bit more smoother lines. And what we can do is we can rotate his face around. Work with me. Whoa. There we go. All right, a little bit easier there. And then, of course, we can give him his... Uh, serious face for that so that is how we do that and for a quick comparison with dino cat in the uh back round somewhere and uh, we're gonna put him next to typical carbot prowl you can see he's taller than prowl kind of towers over him although of course on the smaller side as far as the die bots are concerned so there you go there and gonna back the camera. I'm not gonna unpose him, but I will show them with his uh, with his uh, Diebot brethren. We'll get him in there with Grimlock, the leader, and then of course, oh man, these guys are too hard to handle. And then of course, yeah, he's got backup. Look at that, man. There may only be like three of them, but dude, these things look so badass together. I will say that, you know, for for all the issues, and again, he, he, it's Soar is by far the most issue-ridden one of them. Um, but uh, he, he, again, these things, uh, once you see them all together like this, it's like, holy crap. That looks absolutely badass. And you can imagine how this looks on a shelf. Absolutely badass. And for one final comparison, let's just move Mr. Soar off to the side. Because we got, oh wow. <laughs> and there he is next to Giga Power Gardenter, their take on uh, Swoop. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, versus the other Diebots, um, uh, Gardenter in robot mode anyway towers over Swoop. Um, now, um, I'm going to come real clean right here. Both these guys have their share of issues. And uh, again, I will do a review on Gardenter in the future. I'll go over all the issues I have with that. So neither of these guys is free of issues. In fact, uh, uh, in comparison to all their uh, brothers, they have the most issues out of all of them. Um, that being said, um, I do like the Giga Power a little bit more overall. Uh, I know he's not, he's not entirely cartoon accurate, but I absolutely love the detail. Uh, he's a bit, feels a bit more sturdy to play with than uh, Soar does. But again, both really good options for yourself. Um, I, uh, the Giga Power certainly having a bit more presence, but neither of them um, something to turn your nose up at. So for your comparison. All right, and it is time to get him transforming up. So uh, without further ado, now again, this, this, uh, sorry, I knocked the camera. And this is an ultra simple uh, transformation. So uh, again, um, we'll we'll move through it uh, pretty briskly. But again, this is, this is probably the most simple. I mean, it's swoop. How hard can you get? <laughs> so let's get right down to it. So what we want to do first, and we can take these guns off. I'm just going to kind of open the back up just take it. You don't need to, but I'm just going to kind of get everything in my way. And what you see here is you notice that there's two little latches hidden in uh, the hidden in the dino head. You just want to bring these out and you'll notice that they have two uh, pins on them and there's two uh, holes in the side of the head. So what you can do is you can bring this up and this whole assembly comes up. It's, it's ratcheted right down here 
So already getting into dyno articulation. How about that? See, this is how this is how we do here at uh, the FC Finch Studio. And you're just gonna put the pins in there. And uh, yeah, he's got dyno head now. So uh, there you go, right there. Next up, we are going to open. We are going to hide his uh, fists, and you're just gonna open up this little capsule back here. It opens up only yay far, and you just bring the wrist all the way around. There is ample room for storage, and you just close it up. Same thing with the other side. Ample storage, and you close it up, and you're gonna push. The upper arm, the upper arms all the way up, the biceps all the way up, and you just close everything in. The arms don't really tab in, they just kind of hang out there. So uh, that's how we are going to leave it. And yeah, you already see where I'm going with this, huh? You already know. And we can just put the wings back, and if you want, we could fold out his wing here, fold out his wing here, fold out his wing here, fold out his wing here. And there we go, he's halfway done, woohoo! And for the legs, so what we're going to do is, uh, real quick, we want to uh, undo this uh, right here. Uh, let, you're gonna get this. This is tabbed in. There we go. So that tabs in right up here, and this just brings up. Um, I haven't had any issues with mine. I guess, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, um, these had an issues with breaking on the first run. I've never had any issues with mine. I know uh, you do get replacement parts with one of the die bots, but I've never had any issues with mine. So that's one lock defeated. There's two more locks, one right here and one right here on either side. So now the entire leg is unlocked and you could bring this back. And so the thigh is basically gonna separate itself. You just want it running like that. And you can kind of see, you can bring this out right here. And in fact, you can bring it down like that. And you could bring this back up. So you got the thigh kind of hanging out here. And what you do is for the foot. Sorry, got rid of it. Yeah, look at that. Put ratchet right back there. How crazy. And uh, oh crap, it was done already for us. Darn it. Um, so I'm gonna show I'm gonna take it out just to show you. Um his heel spur. He was not transformed into his robot mode fully. So his heel spur normally hangs out back here. You're just gonna close that back up, and you're gonna put the foot nice and inside and it's just going to hang out of the toe just like that make sure this back panel's down and you'll notice that the foot the lay the leg has a tab here a tab here you have a slot here slot here and you're just going to bring it up and it'll lock right in place and the last thing you want to do is you have this uh tab here it's on a hinge and you're just gonna bring it down it's gonna swing it's on a double hinge so it's gonna swing all the way down and uh it doesn't really work too well it's just kind of leave it hanging out there it's just gonna cover up uh it, it's gonna kind of cover up that gap just a little bit it doesn't work all too well but uh it is what it is oh and uh real quick uh to help him stand in dynamo we got to give him his little feedies uh, yep and so you just got to get this little heel this little spur piece right there and so yeah so his leg is all done on one side and again we are going to I'll bring this out so everybody can see the whole process because we don't want to leave anything undone that was my bad folks so heel spur is out we're going to push that back in we are going to yeah i know i'm doing it in a different order that's okay um as long as you unlock the appropriate things, it's fine. You can open this up. Foot inside. Foot inside. Foot in mouth. And we already unlatched this. Do our final unlock points. On either side. Just like that. And bring this whole piece up to piece out. Tab slots, tab slot, tabs and slots. And there we go. And we're gonna bring his leg down. We're gonna bring down his, we're gonna get our. Oh, that one come down. 
Father, why have you forsaken me? Aha! Finally, Wunderbar. There we go. And we're going to bring this piece down, our little calf filler. Let's get it in there. And bring this piece back up, just like that. Oh, and his arm moved on us by accident. How dare you? And we're going to get him standing up all appropriately. And there we have it. That is Soar Swoop in Dino Mode. Oh, and real quick, kind of a step that's easy to miss. Before you bring his legs up, you want to bring this tail out and just bring it nice out like that. And then you could peg his legs in just nicely like that. And you can see his little tail right there. So let's get a look at the details and yeah so and again you know similar with the other bots uh but a bit more so because it's basically just a shortened a shortened torso version of soar swoop um you know the, not much too much different you can see again got his uh full chest piece aligned i got a little bit of a gap not too much the arm just kind of hanging out there again not much you can do about that um the beak uh, very, you know, very nice looking, nice and gold fingerprint magnet, but whatever. Uh, Autobot decal, not, uh, it luckily only needs one because the beak of course becomes his chest, but, uh, uh, not included. I imported that myself. Uh, that's right. It's got some nice, uh, transparent plastic for the eyes, nice transparent green there. That is very nice. And you got some, uh, what you can see over there on the chest, some nice molded detail. That's very nice. The wings, obviously you can see more of the wings, more of that nice molded detail. Looks very good good and then of course the feet you can kind of see just a little bit more robot junk hanging out there uh due to due to his claws but uh yeah and then of course moving to his back his back is basically his feet tucked up so nothing um that uh we are missing back there and uh yeah he will uh he'll stand just fine just like that and we'll do some articulation so uh first off the head you can bring it up just like that, so he can go up about that far or up about that far, so he can look down when he's landed or look up like he is in serious flight mode. Um, head swivels. And then, of course, it can tilt side to side. And there you go. Uh, the mouth, hold on, we need a spudger. We need a spudger because that is a point of articulation. And the mouth does open quite far. That could almost be counted as a gimmick, but you see, you got some, look at that nice molded detail. This is what I love about um, these uh, Masterpiece Dino Bots is they, they pack all the, you got the nice teeth, the teeth there. They kind of got a sharp feel to them. And again, you got some textures up here too. Looks very nice. So just very, I mean, again, it, it, nobody's ever really going to look in there, but they included it. And that is on a ratchet. So we'll just leave that kind of open in case we want to come back there. Um, the wings, of course, Got a hinge here, a hinge here, and a hinge over here. So you could articulate those however you want when he is in flight mode. We'll get him into a flight pose a bit later, but there you go for that. Um, I mean, you could articulate the arms if you want to, I suppose. And then as for the feet, um, they do the ink, the swivel uh, for the thigh still does operate a little bit. And uh, you can bring them up like that. You can actually bring it all the way. You can do a little bird kick. Or you can bring it back like that. Or you could just kind of leave it hanging down. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. So uh, articulation, basically a uh, short, a more uh, shortened version of his uh, robot mode. And real quick, so uh, as for accessories, what you can do is you can give him the full uh, dino treatment mode. So uh, you can put the guns in the little pegs on the bottom, and he can go. 
He can go hunting with his little missiles. Well, if you die, I think the only die bot that you can actually store his weapons on in dino mode. And then, of course, you, you, already, you already know what I'm talking about. So you got a, a, a peg hole and a slot here. Along with the slot here. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? We're bringing the stand back. That's right. We're bringing the band back. The stand. And so what we can do here. Oh, I'm rocking the camera. I'm rocking the camera. Is so we can either have him. Just like we did before. And you can kind of. Be all business like. Just like that, you can kind of splay the legs out. Or, or, are you following me? Are you following me? We can put the peg and the slot in here and the peg in here on his belly. And we can move his head up. And he can give a nice business-like flight pose. And that is just super cool. Look at that. That is very business-like. That is very business like i love that that is just so badass i love how they do that again i'm gonna say it right now um it, it takar seems to do a good job of it but third party companies if you're gonna give me a flying robot you better be giving me a stand because uh yeah the, this this is too cool and uh yeah that is absolutely awesome so one more gimmick here you can give him a more g1 toy look with this clear head that's right he's got a clear uh dinosaur head and uh what we can do is uh you'll notice in the head there is one hole two hole three holes you will need a screwdriver i am not going to do it in this video um i'm not going to do it off camera either um but what you use you notice you have one screw two screw three screw you unscrew and then you can take the head off uh the eyepiece is a separate piece and that will just mount to uh this uh rectangular peg right here um and then you just put the head on screw it back in and then he will uh, have that uh g1 uh toy look uh, if that is what you desire, but me personally, I buy a masterpiece, so I don't have to have them look like toys. I want them to look like they jump out of the cartoon. Uh, if you want to see me do that along with the wings, I'll just make it one, uh, separate video, uh, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Uh, I know one other, uh, reviewer that does it. You can check him out. Um, but other than that, I believe Emgo did it. Um, but other than that, um, if you, uh, if you don't care. I don't care. So uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And I can do a video with all that good stuff in. And we'll take it apart and do that. And for a real quick comparison. Here he is next to a standard carbot. He just towers over. He could probably stand on the carbot. Can we get him standing on the carbot? Kind of like that. People are like, oh no, you're scratching the eight. Yeah, it looks okay. Anyway, um, so no, he won't stand on the car bot too well, but yeah, you can just see he's he's a dinosaur in a freaking car. What do you want? <laughs> and we'll do one more comparison real quick. And I need to back him up for this one because, 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 because. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, gotta get him standing. Get him standing. There he is. Next to Giga Power Gardentor, their take on Swoop, and holy cow! And you just talk about wingspan. That is absolutely a fault. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let's see if we can do it. That's like what a foot worth of wingspan. Uh, no, it's like it's a long wingspan. I'm not gonna let me let me go on. All right. Yeah, no, that's like almost 20 inches, man. That's almost 20 inches from tip to tip. And granted, his wings are splayed out just a bit. That is just absolutely insane. And I, I, I'm sorry, I haven't had these two together for a while. That is so crazy um, how uh, how massive they are. It's, it's so weird. These things are just so cool. Um, but yeah, so there you go. You can kind of get a uh, comparison of swoop to swoop to swoop in uh dino mode and uh yeah again now now don't don't be getting down on me fans because as i said in the in the robot comparison we got to talk about this guy too in fact you know what um I, i'm just gonna say this and i love both these bots but i am gonna say this what is with companies having trouble with swoop it's like these two both these bots 
both these bots have have similar have they have roughly the same amount of issues different issues but the same amount of issues and they have more issues than the rest of their counterparts what is up with that i mean it's swoop how easy how hard can he be but you know what yeah i'm not going to say it because i'm going to have some design engineer from one of these companies say hey butthead you try and design a transforming robot that turns into a pterodactyl then i'm going to put my work my foot in my mouth but no seriously um no th these are still both great bots you know not i'm not i'm not pissing on both of them but i i am in a state like of all the in between from the giga power and for the fans toys both these bots have the most issues of the bots that I have. And I have all the Giga Powers. And I have the majority of the fans' toys. So these guys have the most issues. So, again, nothing. I wouldn't not buy them because of that. But, you know, just saying. And as for which one I like better, um, I can. I think I like the uh, Giga Power just a little bit better. He has a little bit more detail um, in the dino mode. So I think I prefer it. Uh, like that, but uh, again, um, if you have, as I stated in the bot mode, it, no matter which one of these you have, uh, you've got a statement on your shelf. As you can see, both these guys are mirror, it, it's pennies difference between these. So, both very cool robots to have on your shelf. So let's summarize, and there it is for FT05 Soar from Fans Toys Iron Die Bots Collection. And uh, yeah, you know, so let me center up the camera here. Um, yeah, so this figure, obviously, uh, of his brothers uh, that I have so far, he has the most issues. So not a perfect figure uh, by any stretch. But um, as far as a masterpiece Dinobot goes, um, I do absolutely love him. I think he nails the look, and um, again, you know, at some point are kind of hard to hold like hold like this arm just keeps on to get loose there but you know it, it is the nature of the beast so just things you got to be mindful also if you don't if you somebody doesn't transform your figures uh the springs in the upper thighs won't bother you if you're a, if you get a figure that has that issue but if yours is like mine and you do and you're like me and you love transforming your figures back and forth every once in a while then uh yeah you're gonna want to get those addressed um and you'll have to look for information on those so there we have that so um yeah, I still definitely uh, recommend this figure um, if you're looking for a solid um, iron die box collection. I mean, it's either this or the Giga Power, and they both have they both have issues um, uh, of equal magnitude, just in different spots. So just something to kind of be mindful of when you're getting into these figures. Not sure why the pterodactyl ones always have issues, but they do. Uh, so nevertheless, um, I do recommend this um, for your collection. Um, you can get these guys. Um, I know quite a few people sell these. I mean, they, they just re-released. Uh, uh, these guys about a couple years ago. I know shops that still have not gotten rid of them. I will put a link to uh, Big Bad Toy Store or uh, the Chosen Prime, which everyone has them in stock. Um, uh, but of course, you can get people are trying to sell these secondhand. I mean, now they're they're pretty much plentiful everywhere. So you could probably get a good deal on one if that's what you're looking for. And it's really hard because they just re-released uh, Giga Power God Dentor uh, a little less about a year ago or so. So I believe they still have him in stock. So these guys, I think they're around the same price so uh, again it's it's win-win or you could just do what i did and get both but nevertheless um that being said it is time to end so if you like this if you like this video excuse me and uh you want to see more like it consider subscribing to the channel also please do hit the like button i do like it and i think it helps you out immensely i don't know i don't know youtube economics but hey why not it can't hurt can it uh leave a comment if you feel so inclined have a question have a concern i am more than happy i try to respond to all comments or at least give you a like or just tell me you love me i will reply in kind and it is time to end so i have been fc finch thank you so much for watching good night